Let's explore the unit resources that are available for the illustrative mathematics curriculum on the Kendall Hunt site. Uh, we'll pick Algebra 1. The layout is the same for all the courses, middle school as well as high school. So we're going to go to the course guide. And this narrative is going to share with you the mathematical story for that course or that grade level. The story of each course is told in seven or eight units. And units contain between 10 and 25 lesson plans. So the authors crafted this narrative in the course guide to just talk us through the story of the unit and, and what will be helpful for you to understand in terms of the connections and coherence that they had in mind as the curriculum was created. So we're just gonna go back on the browser and each of these units and we drill down into one of those so each unit has a narrative that describes a mathematical work that will unfold in that unit and from the unit landing page is how we access this unit narrative and here there's a shorter or kind of an abridged version um, on the unit page where we see the lessons at a glance it captures just the essence of what's in mind in a paragraph. But then we can also click to get the full version. Here's the full version for Unit 1 of Algebra 1. And I'm going to open up a dual window so that we can compare. Um, here's Lesson 1. We can compare it with the the lesson titles. So we know this first section is getting to know you, but notice how the authors give us some background information before they start talking about what happens in the first five lessons. And then scrolling down, lessons six through nine, there's more information about those, and then lesson nine, and then lesson 10, just giving us in narrative form the connections across these sections and these individual lesson titles. Go back again. And this is the unit page for unit one. And they're all laid out very similar way. Um, the default is this lessons tab where you see all the list lessons listed and you've seen how you can just click on a lesson to drill down. The resources tab is going to be very helpful as you begin using the curriculum. It's where we find access to printable, bundled PDFs of the teacher lesson plans, student task statements, cool downs, practice problems, as well as the assessments are here. Some lessons have black line masters, which you would also find in the PDF. Many of the activities are written in a card sort, matching, or info gap format, and that's going to require teachers to provide students with a set of cards or slips of paper that have been photocopied and cut up ahead of time using the black line masters. Teachers might want to stock up on two sizes of resealable plastic bags, sandwich size and gallon size. For a given activity, one set of cards can go in the small bag, and then the small bags for one class can be placed in a large bag. If these are labeled and stored in an organized manner, it helps preparation, and you can reuse card sets between classes. The Assessments tab also provides access to um, the student version of the assessment as well as the teacher guide. And the teacher guide is going to have item narratives which uh, really provide support in using those materials to inform your instruction in the unit. So each unit has a diagnostic assessment 
for the beginning of the unit. We call it check your readiness and then the end of unit assessment. Longer units will have a mid unit assessment. And then the other assessments uh, would be like the modeling prompts, which are located elsewhere. And I'll show you where those are on another screencast. Note that the check your readiness is a pre-unit diagnostic assessment that helps teachers know if students are ready for the upcoming unit and items are aligned to previous grade or course level standards. And it's not the, the pre-unit diagnostic check your readiness assessment is not a copy of the end of unit assessment. The teacher version of a pre-assessment offers teachers tips, really helpful tips for working with students who may have skill gaps. And if you notice on this one, it even lets you know what lesson. So in addition to the unit resources for assessments, remember the teacher guide to the curriculum has an entire section that will give a wealth of information about the intentionality of the writers as they designed these assessments, as well as practical tips for implementation.